the time in the land of turnips and jam. Marissa had hired the former flute maker as her assistant. And she taught him how to make saxophones, and she taught him how to make electric guitars. And sometimes when uh, Marissa was requested at more than one place to, at a time to make her instruments, she would send the former flute maker in her stead uh, to provide what services he could. And by this point, the former flute maker had changed his name to, to avoid people associating him with uh, the death of William. And it worked. People forgot all about uh, that particular incident when Wendell came to town and made saxophones and electric guitars, and he would no longer make flutes for obvious reasons. But the partnership was successful for a long period of time. Um, and then one day, Marissa asked Wendell, so, well, how did you first uh, become a flute maker? What, what drove you to this profession? And the former flute maker, named Wendell, said, I was chased by a lion. And uh, Marissa said, what? Chased by a lion? Yes, I was chased by a lion uh, into a cave, and I escaped into this cave. And in that cave, I had nothing but flute-making materials. Um, so while I had managed to keep the lion at bay outside of the cave, um, I couldn't leave, and all I could do was make flutes. And uh, when the lion finally got tired and went home, I had all the skills needed to be a flute maker. But I didn't know how to work with people. I didn't know what to do, so, so I kept asking them to do things in exchange for their flutes. And, uh, it got out of hand, and that's what happened with William. But I'm happier now that I'm working under, uh, your instruction, Marissa. You're a much better flute maker than I. How did you get into flute making? And Marissa told him the story of, uh, trying to learn how to dance and trying to play volleyball and trying to uh, go cycling and digging a hole, and uh, Wendell didn't quite understand the story, but uh, he understood the emotion behind the story, and that was enough. And uh, the next day, when Marissa woke up, all of her equipment was missing, and so was Wendell. He had stolen everything and left, and, and uh, Marissa had nothing left. She couldn't, she couldn't make flutes, or saxophones, or tubas, or electric guitars without the materials. She didn't have any money to start over again. So, uh, very sadly, she went back home, and she moved back in with, uh, with her mother. <laughs>